Hello everyone, it's Team127. Let's continue playing Rival Schools. We're on the first disc of the game, the arcade disc. We're gonna be playing through Rival Schools arcade mode, all of them. All of the Kanan ones anyway, all four of them. We're gonna be playing as Batsu. And I don't know. I'll play as Kyosuke. I like these guys. Um, so much like Hinata. We're not gonna spend too much time on rival schools because the sequel is much better. So we're gonna go through the story of rival schools one and play around with it. I think the game has like seven chapters. That's kind of an odd thing to say to somebody. These guys have large fists. Anyway, let's play the game. You guys know most of it due to the first episode. So let's see how we do. The game is on PlayStation 1. It's polit polygonal. Go for a grab. Yeah. Okay. The game is pretty easy, although the game uh, has this little pausing screen when it loads up the other person's uh, data. Here we have Kyosuke Kagami. You might notice him from, might know, know him from uh, CBS2. This is pretty top tier. The first Rival Schools game is pretty broken. Uh, you can get up to nine bars of super. You can do a lot of things. I think projectiles are really overpowered in this one too. There's not much I can tell you about these characters. They're pretty, uh... Pretty general. Not as the sweet high school girl that cares about her friends. Bots is the hot-headed dude who likes to be alone. Kyosuke is the mysterious dude. Yeah, not much to say. Oh boy. We're hitting all the stereotypes right now. Fighting Gun and Edgy. That's it'll, this'll be easy. Most of this game is pretty easy. Except for the ending. Alright, Edge, let's fight. Fight! <laughs> 
Hitting someone in the back causes them to get knocked down. It kind of annoys me, to be honest. Not today! The best uh, answer to a burning vigor attack is another burning vigor attack. Also, notice how much damage my fireballs did. Too much. It did too much. Besides that, I think this is a fun game. Round two, fight! <laughs> Dang, ah. he goes a lot. He does a lot of slaps. Like I said, you might notice uh, Kyosuke Kagami from CVS 2 Pretty, pretty, pretty bad character. Actually, he's low tier in that game. Gon is one of the few characters that can come into the launcher. Oh. Anyone with a, uh, a, a projectile is pretty overpowered in this game. Look how much damage it does. It does a lot of damage. Plus, they're really fast. But then again, that's why we have the ditch maneuver. Computers don't do that. I think the game skipped a line of dialogue. Huh. Never noticed that. Oh, hi. なぜ俺の名前を知っている覚えていないのも無理はないお前が赤ん坊の頃に会った木だからなまあいい率直に言わせてもらう君たちにはジャスティス学園に来てもらうぞえジャスティス学園あんたたちが学校を襲ったのね
That's kind of cool. I'm glad I won that. Let's go. Kyosuke's hiding something. But I don't care. Meet some of the overpowered characters in this game, especially Hideo. Hideo's really good. Kyoko is okay. She's okay. Let's go. You and me, old man. Dude's basically old Ryu. Holy crap, more like Akuma though. He's like the Akuma to Batsu. Hideo to Batsu as is Akuma to Ryu. Oh my god, projectiles are so overpowered in this game. My god! Okay, we win! I... Alright, let's... Hold on, let's, 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 let's redeem ourselves. Ah, that's an overhead? Ah! What is that? Whoa! Actually, she's beating us up! Whoa! Take this! Oh shoot! Oh, oh no! Alright, we'll change the kill skin now. We'll win this one. Since she likes to do the ditch maneuver, I'll just use this sweep over and over again. Cross cutter. Whoa. Gotcha. Ooh. Take this. Ooh, soy. Whoa. Try this. That was close. Victory. The next game will be much more polished than this. You also might know Batsu from uh, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom or Project X Zone. I always wish that Rival Schools got another game to it. Oh look, she got brainwashed. So the trick here is, if you want to get the real ending, you have to uh, beat up uh, Ryzo with a super move. Which is pretty easy, considering you can build up to 9 bars. Should be easy. Sweeper! Ah! I know how to deal with people like you. Spamming projectiles. Ah! Ah, crap, I pressed a button. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Whoa! Whoa! Take this! Got her! Okay, we, we won. That was close. I'm gonna use Batsu for this, mostly because it's easier to fight Ryza with Batsu. 
Alright, we have to win with the burning bigger attack. Whoa, that was weird. Take this! Yeah, running attacks are overheads, by the way. Kind of an odd thing to have. Odd thing to make overheads running attacks. Doesn't bother me, but it is unusual. Alright, now I have to beat him up with the burning vigor attack. Almost. Ah. Get up, Ratsu. I don't think Razo's gonna let us beat him up with this. He doesn't have much of a choice, though. Oh, I can't chip him out. That sucks. Here I am just kinda- Ooh, I think I got the bad ending. Whoops. That's not good. Alright, that wasn't good. Let me just get back to that. I'll be right back. Hey, we're back! And uh, I actually discovered something on my way towards getting the true rending. And it's if I lose this fight, something different happens that I didn't notice was gone earlier. Because I played this game a lot uh, when, before, but I recently just started playing only the second game because it's so much better. So I didn't realize that this was different. If I uh, lose this fight with Ryzo, I get an extra fight with the kids from the... Uh, I forget what school they come from, but they're the sports school. So by going out, by losing that fight, we actually go to... We actually have to go through this. We have to fight Natsu and Shoma. I guess losing made us uh, lose our morale. I will admit this is not a very good uh, reason to start a fight, but we're going to start a fight anyway. It's all good. Neighborhood. Let's fight. By the way, the character you don't choose from the high school uh, is the one that gets kidnapped. So it could be Batsu that gets kidnapped, or uh, Kyosuke, depending on who you pick. So yeah, there's differences, but we're not gonna go through them all. Uria! Final Symphony! Ah! Shooting Star Kick! Whoa. Take it! Gotcha now! Take it! I forget if people can actually get hit beaten up by Chip. It seems they can't. Alright, that's enough out of you. Okay. Good. Let's fight Shoma. I actually have- I haven't shown you, uh... Team up attacks are based on your partner in reserve, so if I use a team attack now, I, I will lose, apparently. It'll be Batsu that comes in and helps me, so let's see if we can get that to happen. Shoma's actually a pretty good character in this game. Got him, okay. The double guts bullets. That's one of my favorites. Ugh. Shoma's one of the few characters with a full screen projectile, so he's a little, he's a little tough. Oh, soy. Oh, up under. Oh, I lost. Oh dear. Let's try that again. Take it. Sweeper! Sweeper! Grab! Take this! Oh, Shoma's kicking my ass. 
I ducked under your ball. Okay, we got him this time. Victory! Oh, that's too bad to hear, Shoma. Alright, so now we're in chapter 5. Now we find. Oh! Huh! Beating Raizo skips a lot of the game. It's kind of funny. I like that. <laughs> this is kind of an in joke in that if you don't pick Kyosuke, uh, he gets kidnapped. Oh shoot, it's Bowman. Dang, beating Raizo skips a lot. It's kind of cool. Of course, I'm missing out on a lot by winning. It's kind of funny. Wait, this is Bowman. He's the other member of Pacific High School's team of three. He's kind of like Dudley from uh, Street Fighter. Whoa. He's also got uh, the double lariat. Although, he can only do it in the air. What are you doing, Bowman? Whoa! Guts up, bro. Oh, that hurts. Oh no! <laughs> the double twister! I see I like the final symphony. Oh. You liked it very much. Oh no! Things aren't looking good for us. I don't want to rematch. Crap, Bowman's kicking your ass. Uh -huh. Whoa, okay. Take that. Take that. Guts bullet. Ironically, Bowman's the one we shot the guts bullet at in the beginning, in the intro. Okay, okay. Dodge this, Bowman. All right, we got him. Now we just have to beat up Roy. We've already beaten up Roy, but I guess he'll be a little bit more difficult now. Whoa! Crap. Cross cutter. I wasn't gonna talk about it, but I'm sure most of you have noticed that uh, Roy is a straight Ken ripoff from Street Fighter. Well, Ken and Terry Bogard combined. Since Roy does have a uh, Roy does have a uh, Terry Bogard's touchdown win. Oh crap, I got hit by that. I lost. We'll continue though, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh crap. Well, we gotta pick the same guys, of course. Don't wanna change the storyline. I might have to cut these in half later. Oh, actually, no, I just I screwed up, so this will be long. It's my fault. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Alright, I did a successful rival launcher. They're not as important in this game as the second game. In the second game, they're really important. Yeah! Take this! Guts upper! Alright. Let's see if we can settle the score with Roy. Hey, like a sweep! Another sweep! Maybe a, a third sweep. How about a fourth sweep? A fifth one? A sixth one? Seven? Okay, okay, he's had enough. Oh no! Oh, it's gotta hurt. Double guts bullet. Good thing is Roy doesn't have a Hadoken. He just has the touchdown wave, which isn't that good. It's good for us anyway. So now I think we're back where we left off. Okay, so I think it's best if I just lose to Raizo at the beginning, like I'm supposed to, instead of winning. Alright, so here we are, chapter 6, once again. And we can skip this cutscene because we've already gone to it. Let's beat up Kyo Hideo and Kyoko now. That's upper. Take that. I don't make it obvious, but I do love fighting games a lot. Uh, I don't play them a lot on the channel because I have difficulties uh, uh, recording them on HD PBR. The reason you haven't had any videos recently is us actually HP are related. Uh, I've been trying to record Borderlands, the uh, pre-sequel, because I recently got that, but I have had a lot of trouble getting uh, that getting that recorded, and I eventually gave up. So there's that. Got supper. Sorry, Hideo, you're not gonna win. He's mad from last time. Alright, let's try hit. Let's see if we can beat her now. And I have to make absolutely sure I beat Raizo with a super move, otherwise I'm gonna waste a lot of time. We might lose. Oh yeah, we're gonna lose. This is bad. Oh, good, good, good. Alright, we'll try again with Bazio. I'm much more comfortable with him. In this game anyway. The next game lets you do a lot more combos and everyone else gets to do really cool stuff. Oh my god! Uh, that was like no recovery on that! Are these like boss forms of the normal characters or something? Oh my god. Got supper! Oh dear. Gotcha! Okay. Oh, how about another one? I'm actually just kind of waiting for him to do something so I can punish him for it. Alright, that was good. It's a good adjustment. This game really is all about the uh, team up attack. Consider so I think supers don't have much invincibility at all. Team supers have much more. Yeah, these guys are brainwashed. Chapter 7. Alright, now I've got to make sure I defeat him with a super move. So here we go. 
Oh crap, party counter. Oh crap. Oh crap! It's really. This, did, I, did, I, did I up the difficulty or something? Ay, ay, ay. Alright, we'll try. We'll try with the. Uh, Kyosuke. This is, this is uh, a little difficult. Flash kick! Alright. Like that. This game rely this game kind of makes you use party counters a lot because everyone has a lot of recovery, a lot less recovery on their moves than you would normally expect. So they expect you to do party counters. Like that. See? Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to punish that move, most likely. Okay, we have maximum. Yeah. Ha! Ha! Okay, we did it. So now we just need to beat him up. Now we just need to beat up Rizo with a super move. Hopefully we can do that. So this is the final round. That's Hinata's team up technique. It gives you like five bars of super, which is kind of ridiculous. We can also use a team up attack, but it'd be difficult to do that. Oh, we did it! Woo! Okay, so now we'll be able to get the true ending of Rival Schools. Alright, we've defeated Raizo with the team-up technique. That's right, we gotta defeat the other dude in the opening. It's Hyo Imawano, the only dude with a sword in this game. Which means he's really broken. Final chapter, alright. This is Hyo Imawano. でも今は違う。僕は大切な仲間と自分自身のためにニーサンを倒す。私は大切な友達のために。俺は仲間と母さんのためだ。くだらん。実に<笑> Yeah, this is going to suck. All right, let's see if we can do it. Welcome to the Disco Inferno. He was gonna kick her ass. Crap, that doesn't combo? Yeah, I have no idea why it's a Disco Burning Inferno, but, I mean, whatever. Take that! Ah, crap. Uh, that's not fair at all. Ah. Okay, we got him. We got him once. Now we gotta let. Oh, I can use Hinata? Okay, we'll do that. Well, why not? Round two! Oh, that's my partner! I have to win Batsu! How about this? Oh crap, it's short range. Oh, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good at all. 
間が近い。ファイナルラウンドファイト<笑>ここはなかなか難しいね。Gotcha! We got him, alright. Everyone has really big hands. あいつがジャスティス学園なんか作ったせいでいろんな奴が酷い目に遭ってんじゃねえか。父さんが日本を支配するために学校を作ったのは確かよ。でもそれは弱い人たちを困らせるためじゃなかったの。父さんは権力を